Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Pumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue once again with my first look miniseries on Demon's Age. This is episode two. So, we are going to wander around and try to figure out how everything works. And I am... There we go. It's It's been a little bit of time, so i got to remember how exactly the control scheme is in this particular game. And I am figuring it out. We're going to wander around. We're going to get into trouble. We're going to do some stuff. We're going to fight some more, probably, frogs and fish and all sorts of horrible things like that. And we'll see where that takes us or puts us. Apparently, there's a book over here. The gate... Let's see. Gay Lane, I guess, was once a great city full of wealth and power, culture and wisdom. But also lots of corruption. Therefore, it became an easy target for the demons during their first invasion, and soon it fell. The demons knew how to go unnoticed, influencing those who had wealth and power. Galane is now a ruin, massive debris of an architecture from which there is no equal. But Galane's ruin was much more severe than just crumbling walls because Galane's ruin began at its core. Galane's ruin began in the heart of its rulers. Morrigan, The Old and the New, Volume 2, Ghislaine. Alright, Jewelry Box, True Aim, Bullseye. We get a little bit of extra dexterity, and apparently I have, um, I have my PS3 controller emulating an Xbox 360 controller, which is taking over my control scheme. So I don't remember if the game had a normal control scheme without all that. But it's definitely taking it over now, so take from that what you will. Alright, there's a chest here with a scimitar. I shall take it from that. That chest sounded like it just screamed at me. It's a little off-putting, not going to lie. Uh, looks like there's nothing else in here. Let's go into our inventory if we could. We did pick up a scimitar, 1-6 to six damage, and X2 critical... Versus 1 to 6 damage, X2 critical, but it's a sword. Who doesn't want to have a sword over a stinky little club? Let's be real. Everybody wants a sword over a club. Can we dual wield? I don't know if that's a thing we can do. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, now what do we have here? We have the jewelry, the ring of bullseye. And is that equipable? It is, but what do we give up for it? become stronger okay and you get to have true aim I guess because that's clearly a thing and you're rocking a knife along with your short sword like a boss and that's cool all right so that's what we're gonna roll with now we're gonna open the cage. well we're gonna try to open the cage I don't know if that's gonna be a thing that we can actually do we would prefer to be down here I believe as we came from up top Alright, looks like there's a few different pathways we can take. There's also a healing uh, fountain over here. Which I am a fan of. This looks like it leads to a place we have yet to explore. And where does this take us? I am curious. It takes us to a chest that has a helmet and a wooden spoon. Why not? Those are both amazing things. Looks like there's nothing else we can do over there. I believe we already have a hat on, so technically we don't need to use another hat, but maybe it's a better hat. I don't know. Let's find out here. Leather helmet for him. What do we have? We have a splint guard helmet. This is just a regular helmet. A piece of headgear that offers its wearer a little protection. Pretty much exactly the same. And then over here, same thing again. Alright, so it really doesn't seem to change much. So we will head on down this way, and I'm sure there will be frogs and horrible things that want to eat us in this giant room. As there often seems to be, and there's one right there. Kind of blends in. Okay. Alright, let's get you to move, good sir. And let's get you to attack. The attack is real! I think they need to um, increase the speed by which you can uh, do stuff in this game. I feel like it's just a little bit too light, or too slow. You can't quite get enough done that you'd want. 
Oh, what are these guys? Goblin warriors. They are veterans. I find it odd that we actually see them over there. Oh, this guy's chucking stuff at me. Ow, that hurt. Like, badly. The frog even attacked. That's not cool, man. Alright, let's go with a full melee attack onto you. The attack is real! And you missed. Of course you did, buddy. Of course you did. Alright. Well... I suppose we could move one spot. And then we can attack. And then maybe we can move again. Can we get eight damage out of it? Nope, only six. Oh, we can't move again, huh? Neat. Alright, looks like we're getting beat down a little bit here. This guy's gonna take his ridiculously long shot at us. And, of course, it's going to hit because of reasons. And now the frog is angry with me. And he, too, is going to try to lick me. But he shall not be able to, for we are too powerful for him. Full melee attack again onto the goblin. And it looks like we were victorious this time. We slaughtered his soul. And if we're lucky here, we can kill him off as well. And we can even move a little bit to get closer to our nemesis. And I leveled up. Sweet. Alright. And that even healed me, too. Oh, look at me dodging now that I've leveled. What? Get wrecked, buddy. Get wrecked. Alright, let's get our butts on over here. We get within melee range of this guy. Stepping up on him. Okay. I guess that's it. We end our turn. And then pretty much the same exact move for us. We'll get on either side and flank him into the ground. I, we're not really flanking. I know, guys. I know. Alright, Goblin Archer. Prepare to meet your demo. Wow, point blank shot. That hurt bad. Get wrecked, buddy. Double attack. Oh, he missed. Oh, but he got the second one, which did pretty substantial damage. Now, if I'm not a scrub noob like I probably am, maybe we can... Nope. Scrub noob it is. That's apparently what I am. Alright. Now he's going to go with another point blank shot. Hopefully he misses. Nope. I nearly killed him too. It's a bit off-putting. Miss and an attack and a kill and victory. We're definitely going back to the Fountain of Healing because that was brutal. That was exceptionally brutal. I don't know how you level up in this, though. Not gonna lie. Um, we are at level two. Um, let's see here. I don't know if we just get direct stat upgrades right now or what the deal is. Oh, wait, hold on. Here we go. Proficiencies and combat actions. Hmm. Well, either way, we are level 2 now. We are not quite level 5 like our buddy is here, but it's okay. We don't have to be uh, super high level. Alright, we are fully healed once more. It's more into the breach, my friends. I still think the rotation's backwards from what I would normally use. I also feel like there is no possible path to continue onward here. I see nothing of any... Oh, wait, up here. That's where we go. Okay. So, I guess technically we didn't have to actually fight the frogs and whatnot, but, eh, we did because of, you know, reasons and stuff. Okay, that doesn't seem to help me very much, I'm not going to lie. Hmm, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, there's a door there. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Alright, so we've opened the door. Let's see, what do we have down here? We have that. So that's just basically all those different... Okay, that's fine. Alright, we are in here now. Once again, we were victorious in our little endeavor there against the frog peeps. And we shall continue our adventure. 
hopefully finding some more stuff. I'm not really seeing a lot of stuff. Is there anything over here for us at all? No? Okay, well, I guess we'll continue onward. That's not openable. Nope. Okay. Alright. What is this? Ah! It raises the bridge. So that we may cross over to the other side. What do we have over here? Still a lot of nothing. The sound is a little bit creepy. Also, the spinning camera is actually quite sensitive as well. I don't know if that's necessarily a problem. Well, there's a... Looks like a pathway out. I don't think I want to take that just yet. I feel like there's still more that we can do and or glean or gain. Oh yeah, of course there is. We can get to that guy. Chest, we have some uh, leather boots. We will take them. And perhaps this fellow will join us. Or perhaps not as well. Zero armor. This is one armor. We will take that for sure. And now we're going to run over here and be like, What's up, dude? Thank you so much for setting me free. You're welcome. Hold on, wizard. I demand to know who you are and who locked you in this cage. My name is Vazius. I work for General Kalus Rag of House Lijak. Damned goblins. I don't know how they did it, but they cornered me when I wasn't looking. And then they trapped me here. I was unable to use my magic against them. They have a powerful goblin shaman in their ranks, and I cannot defeat them alone. I need your help. Come along. Let's find that shaman bastard and kill him. I'm yeah. Outside. Let's find the shaman and kill him. Alright, so success. We now have a third person in our party. Gotta say, I'm a pretty big fan of that. I imagine most of you would be as well. Alright, where... Sorry, guys and gals. Um, it's over here to the left. It's over this way. Okay, I went way too far. Alright. Into the sewers we go, I, I think. Maybe. Are we loading? What's what's happening right now? Oh, that's right. I gotta click on the, uh, the tile there. My bad! It's okay. It's all good. The Galen Sewers. Alright. Well, hopefully everything works out okay. Come down over this way. I mean, there's definitely some room to find stuff over here. Our barrel has a wooden cup. Well, we'll take it. As it stands right now. We do have some room. Oh, we can go down the spiral staircase. Cool. I'd rather go see what's over there first, though. I know, the spiral staircase is probably the correct way to go, but if there is treasure loot to be had, and look, there's a chest over here, I would prefer to take it. We have a dagger now, and a barrel that has one gold coin in it, and I think that's it. Alright, let's get down the spiral and see what we're going to be up against. I assume we'll probably end up facing off against the shaman, and that... Might be all this demo actually has for us right now. But we'll find out soon enough. I don't really know. So we're about to do battle with a frog once again. Oh, the wizard gets to go first. And it looks like he's got quite a few spells available. I wonder if these are per... Hmm. I don't know. Let's start with magic missile. Very weak. Very, very weak. Alright. I think I'm going to back up a little bit here. And, yeah, he's good to go. We have another frog coming to join the fray. And I guess that's it. Just the double frog action, huh? Alright. Well, let's move our booties on over here and see if we can't slaughter the frog as he stands. Alright, big attack, doing one damage. Why is this guy so strong? It says his HP is 0 out of 13. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but okay. 
All right, we shall move in a bit closer and attack, of course. Oh, well, now he's officially dead. I guess he's got more or less what he needs as far as uh, HP goes. I, I, I'm very confused by all this. All right, we'll try an acid arrow here. And, well, we did four damage to him. Let's see what he's going to do. Eh, he missed, so not a whole heck of a lot. We'll be able to do the five-foot step there. We'll be able to get ourselves a full melee attack onto him. And we are going to kill you, Kreecha. Die. All right, so that was easy. I'm wondering if his spells stay or not. I guess we'll figure that out soon enough. 125 experience. Seems to be the norm. There is a path that leads this way. And doesn't really dead end, it just leads up. I'm not ready to take that path just yet. So we'll see what the path this way leads to. It's kind of the same. Except this goes a bit further. And there's a chest that has some gloves and another wooden idol. So I suppose we could take that on. And let's go into our inventory once more. We have the leather boots. We have leather gloves. We have more leather gloves. What do you have? You have no gloves. Let's put these gloves on you then, sir. Wooden idol, cloth armor is not as good. What are you using, buddy? Cloth armor. You got a club. And you also have a wizard's hat. Sweet. Okay. Well, I guess that's fine. Well, next time we get into a battle, we'll see if he gets to keep his spells or not. He had three magic missile and I think two of the acid arrows. So if we still have those... That would be pretty cool. Now this is where the other frog came from, so... There's no telling if there's anything over here or if it dead ends like it actually does. Alright, so we have two potential places to go. I'm gonna go left first, so straight on down the line here. And we'll head up here and see what we can find. There seem to be creatures down there. I'm sure they're not friendly creatures. They could be, though, but probably not. History generally Lead reveals it's not friendly creatures that we're going to be up against. All right. We can rest or get our healing done there by stopping at the old fountain. All right. Still further exploratory measures. My goodness. There's so much going on here. All right, what do we get? We got ourselves a, a cape, sweet, and a bone idol. I will take those things, and I will use them. A Brief History of Morrigan, Book 1. Hundreds of years ago, Morrigan was a peaceful peninsula. Or peninsula. Peninsula. Anyway, elves, dwarves, and halflings lived their lives peacefully in their communities with little, two eyes instead of two elves, or any contact between each other. There were some business relationships between them for some product exchanges, but not all the races mingled, choosing to live isolated and deal with their own matters without the disturbance from outsiders. Then the humans arrived at the east coast of Morrigan in their huge ships. Their goal was to explore this foreign land. Mankind have always had a knack for business, and once they settled, they set up trade routes from north to south on, or of the peninsula, uh, linking the different races through trade. I guess that's cool. Hey, we got experience for that, so it's definitely cool. Alright, well, the unfortunate reality is that didn't actually do much for us. That was kind of a long-winded way to accomplish very little. Unless there's another path that we can take to get down there. Oh, there is. Okay. Well, I think after we deal with whatever this battle is going to entail, assuming we're strong enough to deal with it, I believe that is going to do it for this episode, guys and gals. We might even be able to get another one out. We have a goblin thief. Looks like two spiders and two more goblins that are going to be coming our way. So we'll have to see how that all plays out. And 
for some reason, I am actually next up on the docket, so let's get into position here. Let's zoom in a little bit. And let's see what we do with our attack. Bam! Nine hit points, not too bad. Alright, looks like he did indeed restore his uh, stuff. I wonder what these do. Oh, that tells us. Cool. That's it. Man, he does not have very strong uh, spells. The acid arrow is actually not bad. Alright, well, let's try the magic missile. He's got eight health. That's not going to do much, but whatever. It may weaken him a little bit. Two HP there. We're going to move him over here. Make sure we have a clear line of sight or shot if anything does come down the, the line toward us. They do have an archer. I bet he can shoot across the universe, too. He probably won't even have to move. we will just be like, pew! We'll see that slow motion arrow fly all the way across. It will be quite awful for us, but eh, we'll see. Alright, looks like our boy gets to dodge. Nope, he got owned. Oh, good, he has to at least move a little bit closer. Please tell me you can't shoot. Oh, good, he can't. Excellent. Alright, it is time for our full force melee attack. One hit, two hits, not enough to drop you. It looks like he's gonna... Oh, guy decided to focus on me instead. Cool. Alright, standard melee attack. And, of course, he dodged it because that's what he does. Alright, I'm going to move... I guess over there. I'm having a hard time getting my person to go to the spot I want him to. There we go. Yeah, alright. So that, that worked out just fine. Alright, we're going to go with the acid arrow this time. See if we can't actually kill this guy off. And it looks like we did. Alright. So that is good. Move up a little bit, and that's going to be that. Next up, the spiders are going to come down. Hopefully we're going to be okay. We'll see. Come on, dodge it, buddy. Dodge. Oh, they're not even going to be able to attack. I guess we're far enough away. Uh-oh. Oh, he shot a blob of acid on me. Lovely. Super enjoyable. Good dodging there with your face. Oh, wait. That wasn't dodging. That wasn't dodging at all! And here comes an arrow fired at me, and of course it landed dead center on my face, which of course is the plan all along. Can we defeat you this time around? The survey says, of course not, because why would we be able to? That would make far too much sense. Alright, you get to go down, good sir. We get to move once again over, I guess, to this spot. And I assume the acid arrow is not going to be super useful. Hmm. What does this do? Grants, uh, the spell grants to the adjacent target a plus four enhancement, or enchantment bonus or enhancement bonus to the constitution that lasts for one round per caster level, which will add the usual benefits of hit points, fortitude saves, constitution checks, and so forth. So it's actually not a bad spell, but, again, we don't really have it. What does this do? Jeez. All right, whatever, we're going we're gonna to spit out an acid uh, deal here on this spider. The acid arrow did enough to kill him. Excellent. So we're getting closer. We're about to get shot with an arrow and we're going to have a spider run up on us too. Is he going to go after me or is he going to go after the next guy? I don't know. I suppose we'll figure it out soon enough. Alright, let's get moving over here. And perhaps our mage will be able to do a little bit of something something up against this crossbowman over here or archer or whatever you want to call him. Oh, you're going to shoot acid on our guy. Cool. And by cool, I mean not that at all, but okay. Yeah, and you're going to shoot our mage guy. Oh, wow, that actually really hurt. That was not good. That was not good at all. Alright, we're going to do the five foot step up here. We're going to go and commit to the full frontal assault here. And we got the kill already. 
All right, now we have to move all the way up to you, good sir. I'm hoping that with being within melee range, he can't target someone else. But we'll see soon enough, I suppose. Um, uh, hold on, before we do that flare... Uh, causes a burst of light directly in front of a single creature. Okay. Be blind! I, I guess he saved it. He didn't... Hmm. I guess he's fine then. Alright, well, we're gonna move over... here. Hopefully we can survive his onslaught if he does decide to attack. I hope he has to stay within melee. Nope, he doesn't. Oh, you dodged like a freaking superhero. What? Get your butt up there, buddy. Well done. Oh, yeah, that dude's just... He's gone. He, we are leaving him in the dust. All right, let's slap you upside the face. Bam. Probably didn't feel good, did it? Did it? Probably not. All right, so we're, we're good with that. On well, the turn, you, good sir, are going to run... Oh, no, I... Oh, no. Oh, I knew I was going to do that at some point. Oh, it didn't cost me. Oh, thank God. I knew I was going to do that at some point, but... I'm just glad that it wasn't the end of me. Oh, good dodging, friend. Good dodging. All right, and we were victorious. Barely. That was messy. Hey, Golin have reached level three. I would believe that would be has reached level 3. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this particular episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, we're going to play through until we get past all the uh, wonderful, fun stuff this game has to offer, or the trial version of the game has to offer. So, if you guys are enjoying, well, there's going to be at least a little bit more to come before we're completely finished with this. And then, well, we're going to wait for it to release, and, well, we'll probably hop in and start playing it again. The game's a lot of fun. Like I said, if they can streamline stuff, make it a little bit smoother... You know, polish it up a lot. I mean, or not even a lot, just a little bit. Uh, make the combat actions quicker and everything else. I think this game is going to be fantastic. It's already a lot of fun. I am enjoying it quite immensely. And, well, I'm looking forward to seeing what else it has to offer. Right now, it doesn't have anything to offer because that is a dead end, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, folks, until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. Later.